My name is Abraham Liu. I'm Assistant Principal Emeritus of King's College London. I'm a mathematician. My interest in the International Dunhuang Project started over 20 years ago when I was running a program that brought Chinese scholars to Europe. Uh, in those days, these opportunities were very rare. One of these scholars ended up at the British Library and I read his returning report and it was about the Dunhuang material in the library. And I became very curious and asked whether I could come and see what there was. I must admit that I was a bit disappointed because in those days, very little had been done on the material which was sitting in the British Library. And in fact, in many libraries throughout Europe. So I suggested to my friend Francis Wood, Dr. Wood, that perhaps we could set up a program, a pilot project, to see what could be done to interest other people uh, in supporting a program such as we now have. And that is the genesis of the International Dunhuang Project. It has moved on since those days and I'm very excited and pleased to mention just a few aspects. For example, I'm very impressed by the technical quality of the images which we have been able to take and put on the internet, which serves several purposes. One is that it made the material available to scholars who do not have to travel to where the materials reside, whether it is in London, in uh, Paris or in St. Petersburg, they can access this material on the internet. That means that the material do not have to be handled and people can uh, access them from the comfort of their homes. The second aspect of the program, which excites me, is the fact that it creates a forum for scholars to meet together where they can discuss their common problems and share their interests and, uh, and discoveries. And that means that uh, the study of Dunhuang uh, material can take a, a leap forward uh, in terms of scholarship. A third area which excites me is what we're doing for the youngsters. There are people in Singapore, uh, young schoolboys, schoolgirls, in places like that, uh, and in China, who can do projects based on the Dunhuang material. Uh, it may be uh, small areas like uh, star charts or uh, the way animals are depicted, but it opens this material even to school children. And I say even to school children rather carefully because the school children are the people who are going to inherit this material and they are going to be the scholars of the future. And so th these three areas are uh, sort of areas which make me very excited about the project. I am now the chairman of the Dunhuang Project Patrons Group. Uh, well, I have been since its inception and I'm very proud of being so because of the achievements.